and it actually was very convicting to me because I've shared on my channel before I am somebody that can tend to be a compulsive shopper especially if I am emotionally struggling if I'm postpartum like and I've been postpartum let's be real for like the last five or six years I've been postpartum four times now and so my poor family man we're just just bringing them all along for the ride Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Today I wanted to sit down and I feel like just do more of an old school sitting down chit chat video. I used to do a lot more of these on my channel when I had a lot less kids. <laughs> and so these days, they're a little bit more few and far between. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name's Jamie. I'm a mom of four kids, five and under, and I am continually striving to just be better be better I'm just humbled on the daily by my children by the things I don't know and in that sense I just I'm always wanting to learn I just I want to learn I want to grow and um, I want to be oh, as much like my creator as I can be and I have a long ways to go <laughs> and so uh, with that being said I have been embarking on more of a simple living style life and through um, minimalism and through being more intentional about my life I've learned a lot about myself and I was watching a video from Joshua Becker who is a very popular minimalist he's got some awesome books so I was watching a video of him at this event and um, he was talking about as a parent the idea of your children always wanting more and like it gets really frustrating right when your kids are they have all these toys but yet they still want more every time they go to the store their your kids want more things you know and he also um kind of mirrored it in the sense of well of course your kids are going to want more if you're modeling always wanting more always wanting the next best thing and so if you're constantly going to target bringing all the things home your kids are gonna wanna go bring all the things home too, you know? And obviously you are not the main reason why kids want more toys, obviously, <laughs> because all, all kids go in the grocery store and they see things and they want them, you know? But he made a really good point that your children will start copying whatever you model. And so if you are putting things as an important part of living as a big part of your life, your kids are going to put things as a big part of their life. If you're constantly going on hikes all the time, chances are your kids are going to have a desire to be outside, to be in nature, because it's what they know, it's what they're used to, and it's what they have been around. Um, if you are, if you have a big family and you love being around your family a lot and you're getting together a lot, your kids are going to know that. That's something that they're going to, it's going to resonate with them because they are used to that. And so that really spoke to me and it just, gosh, it hasn't left my mind since that. And it actually was very convicting to me because I've shared on my channel before, I am somebody that can tend to be a compulsive shopper, especially if I am emotionally struggling, if I'm postpartum, like, and I've been postpartum, let's be real, for like the last five or six years I've been postpartum four times now and so my poor family man we're just just bringing them all along for the ride and so I think that's why minimalism to me is so intriguing because it really is you find more with having less you live more having less things you experience more when you have less things holding you back um, you have more space to think when you have less clutter around you Absolutely. And so for somebody that struggles with shopping and, and putting things as, you know, I can I can very easily get into a, I need all the things, especially being on YouTube, right? Like, this person was talking about this makeup, so I should go get it. This person said that they got these cute shoes from Target, so I need these. And not saying that's horrible, we've all been there, but I'm also not trying to justify it either to say it's okay because we've all been there. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to and I don't want my children to see things as what's most important in my life and so I just wanted to come on here and just have it be a little bit of you know thought-provoking conversation with you and I hope that it just encourages you I hope that it really makes you think you know where is your heart at 
get? What are you treasuring? What are you seeking after? Like I said before, the original video will be linked below so you can go watch it because it's full of all kinds of other good stuff. But that was definitely just something that I took from it that I wanted to share with you guys. So I will join you guys down in the comments below if you want to share more and chit chat about it. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you guys next time.